doing the thing. I think it's cranking. I think you're cranking. There you go. All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of the Pearl Scout Yarns podcast. I have finally decided to do it. I'm quite nervous. I hope it goes well. I hope the audio is good. Um, okay, let's start. My name is Victoria. I am the owner of Pearl Scout Yarns. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Pearl Scout Yarns. Um, but yeah, I am here in South Jersey. Um, I am located in the US. And I feel like this will get more natural the longer I do it. So let's get started. I have some finished objects. <clears throat> One of my most recent finished objects, ooh, there's like a leaf on it, is the Binks Cal by Loch Ness, and I'll put it in the description box below, and also a banner. But can we talk about this cabling? It looks so good. I'll put it on for you. Cute, sassy, pink. Oh, I forgot to mention that what I'm wearing is my Sonia T by Born and Raised Knits. Um, I knit this in Junk Yarns colorways. The pink is Usagi from Sailor Moon, um, and the yellow is called. Ida. It's called Ida. So I kind of wanted like a Sailor Moon tee and I think I got that and I'm very comfortable with how it turned out. <laughs> I think it looks good. I like it a lot. So if you follow me on Instagram um, or you've seen my dying business, a lot of my stuff is based off of uh, the Sailor Moon universe or like Studio Ghibli. I'm expanding that to other sort of like animated things that I love. Um, I love Sailor Moon a lot, so that's sort of what I've based a lot of the Pearl Scout off of, right? So Pearl Scout yarns, it can't be Sailor Scout, right? So I thought, hmm, what's like a funny play on words? Pearl, the Pearl Scout. My next finished object, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this. Is this massive, massive thing? This is the Moon Kari by Ariana Fresca. Um, it is huge. It is knit entirely in Tarja. Um, I knit this using Miss Babs Yummy Two Ply in Sugar, which is the pink, and Pewter, which is the moon, the gray colors. Um, this thing is massive and it's very cozy um, and I wear it quite often in the evenings now that it's getting cool um, but it's huge and it took forever to knit. I'm so happy that I did knit it. I test knit this for Ariana um, and I love it. It's kind of like it could be like a lap blanket really. I mean you could probably make this as like a blanket but it's a cardigan. Here's the front of it and it is very cute and cozy and that pattern is out now. And then I think that's all of my finished objects. I have some whips. So one of my whips, yeah I think that's all my whips. One of my whips is this beanie I'm making. It's called the Boyfriend Beanie by Pearl Soho and it is a one by one ribbing um, and I'm using two strands of fingering weight held together um, I am using leftover yarn from my moon cardi so Miss Babs uh, pewter color let me get those um, and it's going by pretty quickly I thought I would hate making one by one ribbing, but I actually find it quite cathartic. Um, 
and you can see my little Luis progress keeper and this came from my Halloween advent from Plank and Stella she did a Bob's Burgers um, themed advent and I'm very happy with it but yeah this is almost done I think you have to knit it for eight inches and then you can uh, decrease for the crown so I'm about I think I'm like five inches in so maybe a little more than halfway at this point um, and this is for my partner for our oh for our anniversary I am a whole mess y'all and then this giant which has been a work in progress okay so funny thing about this blanket so I started this when we got into lockdown which is what March it started um, and I wanted a soothing project I wanted a soothing project sorry I got distracted um, I wanted a soothing sort of mindless project that I started at the beginning of lockdown um, because I was stressed, I think as most of us were. So I had a ton of leftover fingering weight. So fun fact, I almost exclusively knit everything in fingering weight. I have some worsted. Um, oh my gosh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't tell you what this was made from. So I used my own yarn and this is pink sugar heart attack and i used it in my worsted starry base um it knit up really fast so the blanket so i started this in march and i don't really crochet but i wanted a really easy project and to use up all the scraps that i had and i had a lot so this is my granny stripe which i don't think i'm going to be able to get all of it on camera I need to find the beginning of it and it's almost done look at this thing it's huge so I made mine essentially like queen size bed um, I'm almost done I have a couple of more rows of scraps that I want to add in um, and it's very comfy and cozy and I used up all my scraps, which is really nice. And I've added as I've worked on other projects, I am doing mine in fingering weight. I think, as I said, I chained 252 chains, which is why it's so wide. Um, let me see what hook I used. I am using a... D 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. So it's quite tiny, but this blanket's gone fast. I mean, we've been in lockdown for seven months, seven months now. And this is what I've gotten done. This might be the fastest blanket I've ever knit and or ever made and will ever make. And it's quite large and I'm very excited as it starts to cool down to use this so uh, uh, it's very hard to fold so I'm just gonna throw that back there stash, ac stash acquisition so my recent stash acquisition because I've been really good about not buying yarn um, my goal since I've started this business is to purchase, try to only purchase eco process superwash yarn. So that what that means is yarn that isn't um, a superwash yarn that isn't processed with like chlorine and plastic. Um, so environmentally friendly. Um, but I couldn't pass this one up. So I got. So I got. Some unicorn yarn and this is in her Targi sock base this is unicorn smoothie and look at it it's so pretty 
and I've never used Targi before, um, but I'm really excited too. And it's like sturdy, like it feels different than Merino. Merino is like very soft. I don't want to say dainty feeling, but this feels like sturdy. And so I'm going to use this and I'm going to make a cozy classic light by Jessie Mae Designs. And I think it's going to be a really fun, cute cropped sweater or I guess top. Talk about my shop and shop updates and what I've got in right now. Um, so I should be posting this today, which is Thursday. Um, so tomorrow, Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my cute but creepy self-striping yarn um, will be open for pre-orders for 24 hours. So what that means is um, I don't have a set limit as of right now of how many, um, but it's going to be pre-order based. And uh, in the past, my self-striping has been on traditional superwash, and this time and going forward is going to be on my eco-process superwash yarn. Um, so now I only carry eco-process superwash and non-superwash yarns. Um, so this batch, which will be my last batch of the year of Cupa Creepy, um, will be open for pre-orders until Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it'll have a three week turnaround. Um, so that gives me time to uh, warp and dye and rescan and get everything sent out. Um, so if you missed the first round, um, you'll have a chance to buy it tomorrow. And I'm really excited about it. It's like one of my favorite self-stripings that I've done so far. So I wanna talk about some skeins that I have ready to dye order and like colorways I have in the shop um, and then like updates coming. So all of these can be back ordered or dyed to order. Um, so some of the stuff I currently have right now is, this is Princess Mononoke. Right, so we've got these beautiful blue and reds and like browns. And this is on my Starry Fingering base. I also have her on my Eco Moon. So my Eco Moon base is 50% recycled wool and 50% tensile. And for those who don't know, tensile is made from wood pulp. So it gives it more of a rustic look, which is why it's a little shinier than like a super wash. Still just as pretty, but a little more muted. And this is her on worsted. So then I have Hal Jenkins Pendragon. So I pulled, and this is on my starry fingering base, but I pulled mostly from his coat. I really liked the coat that he wears through the movie. Um, so like the red and the pinks and like this really pretty steely blue. And I really love this. Um, I had a lot of fun dyeing this one. And I think, do I have it? It's probably in there. I do have it on my Eco Moon base. And then a fan favorite is Transformation Sequence. So this is one of the first colorways I made when I started uh, my business and started dyeing. And this is based off of Sailor Moon's transformation scene. So we've got like pinks and like pinky purples and blue and like yellows and this one's really fun i have my own skein and then i've got and all of these are like ready to ship that i currently have um and this is winning love by daylight on my eco moon base this is another really like fun pastel dream i really love this one um, what else do I have? I have Sailor Pluto on my Eco Moon. So 
so her like very it's hard to tell on camera um but there's like yellow and darker and lighter green and then like right here we've got some like red speckles it's a lot of the stuff you saw is like ready to ship i have in stock or can be back ordered um I got distracted. So, okay, updates coming. So, not only is tomorrow a pre-order, but next Friday, I'm opening up pre-orders for Adventure Time sock sets that I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna do five to six colorways, and they'll be pre-order based with a three-week turnaround as well. Um, I don't have anything right now dyed up, but I'll be making some posts next week. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do five to six. And so it'll have like, like my eco processed fingering. So it'll be a full skein and then like a little mini, like 20 gram mini that will go with it. Um, and that'll be next Friday at noon Eastern standard time. Um, but yeah. Okay. I think that's everything. And this is like a first short episode because I don't have a lot or don't feel like I have a lot and I'm getting the hang of this. Um, if you like what you see, like press the like button, subscribe. I think my question, I wanna do like a question every podcast is if you found this podcast, how? Did you find it through Instagram? Did it pop up on YouTube? Um, and what is your favorite weight of yarn? Mm -hmm. I think those are the two questions I want to do. Where did you find this podcast? And what is your favorite weight of yarn? And that's it. So I'll see you next time.